Rob Blair ran for sheriff, and he won convincingly in his primary last night. He joins us via telephone. Rob, good morning, and congratulations to you. Good morning, Rob. How are you? I am well, sir. Uh, at this time, is there a Democrat that could emerge between now and the general election, Rob? Yes. Is there, is there, is there a Democrat? There's a Democrat. Yeah, I think we actually, yeah, my, we my mistake, one, yeah. I got confused in my offices, yeah. yes. Yes, Dave, Dave Jackson is the Democrat. Yes, we actually interviewed Dave. My apologies to you, Dave, if you're listening. I didn't mean to discount you that easily there, sir. Uh, so let's talk about last night. Robin, why do you think that uh, you were so overwhelmingly successful in your race uh, last night? Uh, I um, First off, I, I, I want to thank, uh, thank my family uh, and uh, all my supporters that, uh, that uh, got behind me in, in this uh, campaign. And... Um, I um, I ran a positive campaign, and I know you all were just talking about the the negativity and and, and um, the nastiness of, of politics. I think it's become worse, and uh, I refused to go there. So uh, I I hope hope that was part of why um, why I was so successful in this 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 election. I I don't know. I'm uh, I'm honored. I'm honored to be in this position. And uh, I just, uh, I'm, I'm just, just thankful that uh, it turned out the way it did. Rob, because you were appointed to fill out a term, uh, this would be your last consecutive term should you win election in the general. Correct? You cannot run for another after that consecutively. That is, that is the way it stands at this point. Yes, and I understood that when I when I took the appointment. Bill. Yeah, Rob, you mentioned you ran a positive campaign, which you did. Also, your main opponent, I th thought, also ran a positive campaign. So the negativity that we saw in other races did not extend to the sheriff's race. Nah, not, maybe not so much. There was there was some negativity there, and maybe it wasn't uh, published as much. He he ran he ran some paid advertisement and um, and whatnot. But you know that's that's him, not me. Okay. Um, and I didn't even address it, to be honest with you, because I know who I am, uh, and other people don't define who I am. Um, I'm a conservative, uh, Second Amendment advocate, and uh, I love this county, and uh, regardless of what was said, um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. John? Is it by the Constitution that the uh, sheriffs are term limited, or is that a Berkeley County thing? Constitution. It, it, it's, a, it's a Constitution. Now, there's, fact, there's the, nothing that stopped you from sitting out a term and then running again, correct? Correct. Correct. Um, you know, that's, that's on down the road. I, I, I'd like to, like to win this general election and, and get four more years, and we'll see how things go. Rob, were you involved in the big uh, drug bust uh, the, uh, that we had the, so much publicity about a couple of days ago? Um, the drug bust. Or, or the murder. I'm sorry, the murder. The, the murder. murder. Yeah. My apologies. Absolutely, uh, we were involved. Uh, my um, my entire department, uh, and along with many other departments, put uh, and are still putting time in on this case. Um, it's it's something that um, I'm very uh, very honored to be a part of this agency that that is professional. They they took that case. Um, and um, they, they they've made a very solid case out of this, uh, and I'm I'm very proud that uh, our criminal investigation division is working with Jefferson County, um, the FBI, uh, all different agencies are, are putting this case together. And, and yes, I'm I'm very proud of the, the way they performed. Are we talking about the murder with the the young lady on the sofa? Yes. The, okay. Under, yeah. Under the, sofa. The, yeah. The media made a, f a fairly big deal out of the fact that there were um, illegal alien, undocumented, whatever is the correct term. Uh, is this um, is this a indicator? Do we have a problem with uh, a flow of undocumented workers, illegal aliens coming into this area now? Is that uh, is? Uh, it, I, I think it, it's an obvious problem if anybody opened their eyes in this country um and it's 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 not going to go away with the uh lack of border control uh and we have to start asking ourselves why is our federal government allowing this uh it's putting a strain on local law enforcement state law enforcement uh, and it's you, you have to get to a point 
are they doing this on purpose? I mean, what 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 purpose is, is served by opening your borders to known violent felons that then prey upon American citizens? Well, last Friday on on the Friday Five, the program we have on here, one of our members said rather dogmatically, "This is not a problem in West Virginia. It could be a problem elsewhere. It is not a problem in West Virginia." And I'm just wondering, is it a problem in West Virginia? Well, we're it? we're not we're not um, um, typical West Virginia here in the Eastern Panhandle. We we have two major cities within an hour and twenty minute drive, and um, uh, that's probably. A contributing factor, but I I would argue that I would say it is a problem in West Virginia. Maybe it's maybe it's not highlighted, but um, I would say it it probably is a problem in West Virginia. It's only going to grow as these um, illegals are are located all throughout our country. So we're going to have to we're going to have to find a solution to this. And um, I don't think the current uh, administration in Washington uh, is is willing to. Um, um, find a solution. So for you, I mean, you last night you went to bed as sheriff. You woke up, you've been reelected sheriff. So is this just another day? I guess. Well, right? well, in the primary oh, now. Primary, that's true. <laughs> okay. Well, um, yeah, I, I went to bed early, early morning hours, and um, uh, got a few hours of sleep, and I was back here at uh, five fifty-seven for a flag lowering ceremony for Police Week to honor the fallen officers in this country and uh this entire week is dedicated to police week in in dc and and uh we had sergeant anaya and um two of our officers trooper and tech and they they did the flag lowering ceremony here at our office and i wanted to be a part of that this morning rob thanks so much for your time this morning i appreciate you squeezing us in and congratulations on your primary victory congratulations rob